She initially hated it, but when she turned six years old, Chloe fell in love with a game of soccer. Fast forward to today, she's nearly a full-time player. Individual training and then going to the gym and doing all the hard work that no one sees, you learn to love the discipline and the work. She plays for East Lake High School, but to increase her chances of getting scouted, travels across the country every weekend playing for FC Tucson, a team based in Arizona from the Girls Academy National Soccer League, the country's leading youth developmental platform for women's soccer. Chloe's day-to-day -day involves a lot of individual training to ensure she's ready to go when she steps out into the field and finish plays with her killer instinct. Knowing that I can beat someone, and if I can't, I continue to work harder until I can beat them or until I get better myself. If I was better than myself yesterday, then that's, that's amazing. Her hard work is paying off. She was called up by Mexico's under-16 women's youth national team in March. And after a convincing performance in a tournament in France, she will be joining Mexico's under-17 training camp in a week with a chance to represent El Tri at the pinnacle of the sport in her category, FIFA's Under-17 Women's World Cup. Making a name for herself, Chloe hopes to be one among a surge of borderland sports stars to come out in the past few years. There's some great talent here in El Paso, and I think, I think competition-wise, it's, it's getting better, and it's getting competitive and that's that one that's what makes everyone better